As we embarked on this process, the internal search committee was focused on finding a candidate with the following traits. You know, a person of high character that will treat his or her players with respect, a passion and enthusiasm for Belmont and what this university embodies, and, and a winner on the court. I know we've got the right person, uh, and he's the right person to lead this program to newer heights. It gives me such great pleasure today to introduce Barb Brooks as the next women's head basketball coach at Belmont University. Where else would you rather be than right here, right now, at Belmont University as a part of this team? I think we have the makeup to do something really special. Cam Neubauer built a program that's, you guys are awesome. What he's built is great. But I think we can take it to another level. And I think the, the talent to do that is right here in front of me. So it's my job to make you guys great. So let's go be great. Thank you everyone so much for for being here. I can't thank you enough. Belmont is awesome. Go Bruins. It's phenomenal what's happened, where we've come from, and, and where we are today. I think we can take it to another level, and I think the, the talent to do that is right here in front of me. So we got to get to work. Everyone who puts on that Belmont jersey knows we represent every team that has played here at Belmont. We're not satisfied, we like where we're at, but we're excited to see where we can go. People learn that we're fighters and we're gonna keep coming. Sally McCabe, five, four, three, two, one. Ask me about being a senior citizen. I'm not gonna get this right. <laughs> oh, you were filming, good. <laughs> Last year, best year. Just, I've had so many great experiences here already, but I'm ready to make some more. Um, I'm just, I'm just excited, honestly. It's just. To think about the opportunity that we have to do something so special again um, with a bunch of girls that are just all locked in and ready to like ready to play hard and work hard and focus and just get after it with each other so it's just it's just a, a year full of excitement every day we just want to get better in something you know you can always control your attitude and effort I'm my dad taught me that at a young age and um, so I think we all have that mindset but then also just, we, you can, if you give your best and have the best attitude, you can get better. With the competitive people that we have on this team, I think it's just um, a bigger challenge and um, it's just another step and another opportunity to show that um, with hard work and dedication and, and passion for the game of basketball, you can, you can do so many things that are just amazing. You know, you get a little taste of victory and you want more and I think it's definitely fueled us in this off season to like work hard and we know what it's like and we know what it's like to be on that next level, the tournament and I think really this year we're focused on winning that first game and obviously you're not getting ahead of ourselves. There's a lot of work to be done, a lot of things we need to improve on here and there but um, we're not satisfied. We like where we're at, but we're excited to see where we can go. You would think that we all be like complacent, like, oh yeah, we want two in a row, but no, we're all like, we haven't got past that first round into double A. So, I mean, I think that's our huge, huge motivation, honestly, knowing that each game that we played in the NCAA, it's been a good game, it's been close. We just need that one more inch to get there and win, and I really believe that's like our motivation, is to focus on the OVC when we, when we do that, win that, and now we gotta focus on getting our first win in the NCAA and then going to the Sweet 16. Um, I believe that is our real motivation right there. I mean, I think it's a daily grind, a, a daily discipline to um, be better than you were the day before. Um, if you can lay your head on the pillow at night and honestly answer the question that you gave 100% of yourself um, that day, then it's a good day. If you can't, then um, you're not really working hard enough.
Welcome to today's edition of uh, Paris on a Plane. <laughs> Today <laughs> we're going to um, sing Christmas carols on November 9th. So sing along if you know the tune. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Catch us next time on Paris on a Plane. <laughs> the first win they had as a team this year and they weren't thinking about themselves they were thinking about how cool it was for me and that was that was special and that's the kind of group we have so that was that was a cool moment something I won't forget and, uh, they, they did a good job of not dousing my cowboy boots so I got my boots are safe but um, yeah that was that was something that was pretty special on the next episode of the season.